Greetings and welcome, or welcome back to my channel. I am Firefly, and I'm glad you're joining me here on episode 1 of my SnowRunner walkthrough, because we are in for a hell of a start. In this episode, we're going to be completing the SnowRunner tutorial, which requires that we discover our first cargo truck, complete our first contract, and discover the Black River Garage. However, in this video, we are going to be doing things very differently compared to how most new players begin their game. Right off the bat, we're going to take a massive detour from the tutorial to collect a number of upgrades, an extra scout vehicle, and discover an extra garage. Uh, I will also be giving gameplay tips as we come across relevant situations, but in order to keep this video much shorter than it turned out to be on my earlier attempt to make it, I am probably going to leave more elaborate things for future videos on this channel. Um, before we begin, I want to be responsible and address any brand new SnowRunner players or anyone who is currently only considering to get the game. If you come across this video, uh, yes, this video and every video that follows it in this series will, in a way, spoil the game for you. However, I am confident that what you learn through these videos will prevent a lot of unnecessary frustration as you try to grasp the basics, which will easily outweigh the fact that it takes away some element of surprise. For example, the only reason we, why we are going to be able to find all of those discoverable items you're about to see is because I already know where they are from finishing the game myself. However, what I also know from finishing the game is that this game can quickly become an annoying struggle if you choose to completely freestyle the early game due to how little it holds your hand. Even I myself eventually decided to look stuff up on places like MapRunner.info, Reddit, and the SnowRunner Wikia on my first playthrough despite coming in with the expectation that I was very much going to enjoy myself more if I'm completely on my own. Uh, this stuff is partly due to the nature of the genre, and also partly due to what is, in my humble opinion, a few poor design choices made by the developers in the early game, which is a shame because these issues can drive away players before they get to the later half of the learning curve, where the game becomes way more fun and just challenging and engaging in a much more meaningful way, and uh, one of the reasons why I'm actually making this series is to try and prevent that. I will say more about this later at the end of the video when we have some more context, and with that said, let's begin. Okay, so let's create a new game. Uh, the game's going to give you a lot of tooltips. If you are curious, you can, uh, you can pause the video and read it yourself. Or um, you're going to see the same things if you are going to play the game. So you can read it maybe during your own game time. I am going to quickly skip over most of them. So. Uh, yep, open the map. Okay, so the tutorial wants us to find this watchtower first, which is over here. And it, to do that, it's going to try and make us take this main road, which is mostly this like flat, safe, uh, low stress driving, just down like a pretty wide uh, flat road. You're going get to get this watchtower and then discover a truck. But we're not going to do that because we can do better, we can take a couple more risks, but um, I promise you this is definitely going to be very rewarding and save you a lot of backtracking uh, for later. So we are going to take a detour off this route. We don't need low gear for now. We do want to use all-wheel drive. By the way, um, I'm not going to explain this too much, uh, I think I'm going to save it for a future video, but for the time being just know that uh, you're pretty much all, like, you're pretty much going to always be better off by just always keeping all wheel drive on. It says, the game is saying that it saves fuel, but it, it only saves, in most, um, in most practical cases, it only saves fuel over time and not over distance because um, in the situations that matter, it's going to it's going to uh, reduce your fuel consumption but also make you go slower. And in situations where you don't need all-wheel drive, if you leave it on, it also doesn't make you consume that much more fuel because you're frequently driving at peak speed or... 
the peak speed on whichever gear you happen to be on at that moment. So yeah, just leave all-wheel drive on. It doesn't actually save you much fuel, and it'll make your driving much more smooth. We're going to launch the observation. Um, you can use the observation to basically check out uh, your surroundings in 3D. That bridge we just saw from... Besides listening to the pretty decent music, especially for for Michigan, I love the Michigan's uh, observation music. But you can also use it to actually check out your surrounding. If the camera happens, it usually is pointed at something that is useful to know. For example, that observation, uh, it showed us a bridge, and that bridge is actually going to be the first contract that we have to complete in order to get out of the tutorial, but also to get to the other side of the... Wrong way. We're gonna keep on taking the left lane because that is... Uh, that is the path that we have to go in order to get the... good stuff I mentioned in the intro. If you take the easier road down there, yes, it'll be less challenging, but you'll have to come back later if you want these upgrades. And these things are uh, upgrades that you want, so... Yeah, this isn't too bad, to be honest. This is like the, the hardest part out of this entire path. And I guess what you can do... Um, if you if you screw up and you're about to fall down just quick winch like that and If you do screw up and you end up tipping your vehicle uh, It'll just respawn you um, at the beginning So yeah, you can just come back and try again Well, uh, if you do if you do tip over you have to hit recover over here in order to take yourself back to the start. Uh, we're going to talk about damage later. You're inevitably going to take damage um, as you play this game, especially suspension and wheel damage. Uh, right now, it doesn't really matter, especially with this truck. Okay, so there it is. Upgrade. Um, we got the raised suspension for this truck. And we're going to keep taking the left lane, which is over here. Uh, you, you got two options. I'm going to turn off. You can turn off your engine to save fuel. Uh, you can do it from here, or you can do it with a shortcut. Uh, which, uh, if you have that keybind, you can use that. So we got two options off this, this cliff. We can come back around and take this route, or we can drop down through these trees. Um, let's put down a waypoint just to make sure we know where, where we're going. I'm going to drop down through these trees but because I really don't think this is too hard of a drop, but if you're feeling unlucky, you can take the long way. It'll be safer. Uh, don't floor the gas too much because you might lose control. Right now, I'm not like completely giving no gas and just letting it slide. I'm sort of giving gas in bursts and make sure it doesn't shift into a higher gear. so that we don't just fly off the hill. We're on flat ground, so we're fine now.
turning on the headlights just because I like to have it on. Okay, this next upgrade is over here, so we're going to take this straight. So the biggest engine for this truck we're driving. So yeah, we already got two upgrades. Both of them are for the truck we are currently driving. Which is a good truck uh, once you get the right upgrades, which is why uh, I'm already putting ourselves on track to doing that. We are, yeah, we're going to keep taking the left lane, the leftmost lane, with every turn. Uh, don't floor the gas too hard. Just, like, give gas in bursts so that you don't crash into the rocks and take engine damage. Yeah, a little bit of engine damage is fine. Too much is going to reduce your engine power by a noticeable amount and you might it is going to affect your driving so yeah keep that in mind you can track how much your engine is damaged down here hmm. uh, we are going to keep taking this route can we cut through these trees? Nah, no, let's not. It's not far anyways. And it's mostly, it's mostly flat, uh, dry dirt where we can go pretty fast. I say that and then we get stuck on branches and lose momentum. Come on, gain some speed. Let's pull off a nice drift. If we cut through those trees, we would have come out here, but I don't even know if it'll actually be faster. Ooh, stuck. Let's use the winch. Right now, low gear doesn't actually help that much. I know the game's tooltips say so, but... It only really helps when you have differential lock available, which this truck has, but we haven't unlocked that upgrade right now. We're going to get to that real soon. So another wash tower. Yeah, no real areas of interest there. So as you guys can see, this is the wash tower that the game tries to make us find. We started here, so we're already <laughs> we're already way past the tutorial zone. But uh it's okay. We're going to come back. But we are not done with this detour yet. We're going to go even further off. Until we discover the most valuable thing on this little trip. I love the fact that you can do this. Yeah, I love the fact that they don't completely wall off uh, everything, even in the tutorial. Oh right, I suppose I'm supposed to put down waypoints. Um, yeah, guys, don't. There's a mistake I made here, um, especially if you're just getting started. 
uh, make sure you put down your waypoints um, whenever you run out so that uh, especially don't go past a turn like I just did without putting down waypoints so I wanted to get to this vehicle which we discovered when we opened that watchtower but uh, yeah I meant to take this route and then up here cut across but I guess now we can go here Hmm. Yeah, I don't need. I think this looks a little annoying. We're actually gonna backtrack. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're actually gonna come back and do that. Because I don't wanna. I think this, like, rock area is slippery. Even though it is a marked road. That's going to be a, a theme with this game. As you guys later discover. A lot of good routes are not marked on the map. Especially when you're driving small trucks. So yeah, mistake there. Cost us some time. <laughs> this isn't a speed run anyways, but... You know, there's a lesson. Put down waypoints. Every time you run out, I always forget. Okay, we're going to be careful with how we drop down here. Yeah, I wouldn't have dropped down from over there because all, even though it looks shorter, uh, even though it is a shorter route than the sort of right angle turn I took, uh, it's much more dangerous because when you're coming down, you're you're turning left and the right side like the left side of your vehicle is also higher up because of the slant so you, you have a huge risk of flipping to the right okay so new truck discovered we can actually switch to this right now and just use it but we're not going to because I don't like this truck <laughs> To be honest, I think it ob it's objectively quite bad. Um, we're going to sell it pretty soon. And again, I was about to take off without putting down waypoints. So we want to go to Smithville Dam. But the marked way down, I'm there, there's no way I'm taking that. That's just too much time. So we're going to drop down this hill. Uh, that should do. How steep is it? Yeah, that's okay. You can rotate the 3D map around to check out how steep a hill is. Again, uh, be careful how much gas you give. You don't want to glide down too fast. Tunnels. Skip. And we've already discovered another map. So, yeah, we are going way ahead of the game's expectations right now. Uh, we are not going to go straight. We're going to take this right and then just keep driving to the end of the road. Where, where the garage is going to be right in our face.
Oh, we're going past the entrance. Uh, trailer store, we're, we don't need that right now. Okay, so first of all, we're going to... Before I show you guys uh, what I want to do, we are going to have to complete the traveling tutorial. So let's let's go to Alaska. Yeah, so we're not going to start the game in Alaska. Uh, that is kind of a bad idea in my opinion. And even I think the game actually agrees with me. Because it also says that in the, in the uh, tooltip screen that I just skipped. So we're going to go straight back. Make sure to retain our truck. And go back to the Smithville Dam Garage that we just discovered. Let's upgrade our truck. So we're going to put on that big engine and that we found as our first upgrade. And make sure to sell all of your spare parts because you can sell them for the same amount of money you buy them for. And as you guys can see, 15000 Uh If I put it, put it on and then try to sell it again, it's still 15000 15, 1500 and they have no other purpose when you don't have them on. So yeah, learn to do that. It'll help your cash flow a little bit in the early game. We don't have any of these right now. Race suspension was one of the other ones we found. Let's sell the stock one. And this unlocks the bigger tires. So if we have the stock suspension on, these are actually logged. Please install appropriate suspension. So not only are we going to raise our truck with the suspension, it's also going to make it a little bit higher with the better ty larger tires. Let's put on HS1. And I want that, but we have ran out of money. So we are going to go to back to Black River and recover this extra truck that we don't want to use or I don't want to use you can try to use this this is just it's way harder to drive than that other one we have without being like better in any meaningful way at least not to an extent that matters so yeah we, we discovered our first garage so when we hit recover now on any truck it's gonna take us back to the closest garage Let's hit retain and sell. Uh, our Chevy is in our first slot. Yeah, slot changer, whatever. So we are going to switch from the scout winch to the autonomous winch, which is shorter and weaker, but um, it allows you to it can work without with the engine being turned on which is very important because if you uh, screw up your driving and tip your vehicle over if you tip your uh, vehicle more than 90 degrees around your engine is going to turn on and it's not going to uh, it's, it's going to turn off and it's not going to turn on again uh, until you get it you get your vehicle back on its feet so yeah if you don't have that if you have a, any of these other winches which runs off of engine power and you tip over uh, you're gonna have to rescue your truck with another truck or just hit recover and respawn from the garage with the autonomous winch which um, all scouts and a select few uh, small cargo trucks have you can just tip yourself um, back on your feet using the closest winch point if there is one it doesn't always work and you may not always tip yourself in a, in somewhere 
where there is a winch point for you to get yourself back up, but that will usually be the case, so that's pretty nice. We're gonna get the engageable diff lock. Uh, we got the spare cash, so let's put on the snorkel, even though we don't really have to cross any deep water yet. That's gonna come later. So, uh, let's do some visuals just because we can. I'm gonna do beacon and fog lights just because that's fun. Um, bumper's nice. Yeah, I, I, I really like these second rims. And of course, the. Well, if you don't have the DLC, you're not gonna have this. I mean, the season pass, but uh, I have this, so I'm gonna put it on. It's not like it's giving me an advantage, anyways. So yeah, our truck looks completely different and also way stronger with the larger wheels, the higher suspension, and the big engine. So let's go out of the garage, uh, back down this route, but we're not going to go back to Black River yet. We're going to take another detour, and when we get closer, this area will, will open up and we'll put down more waypoints. All-wheel drive on, like I said, and beacons on because why not? It just, it goes really well with the orange flame paint job, actually. Yeah, as you guys can see, we are so much faster. Noticeable difference in acceleration there. And now we're also going downhill, so... Yeah, if you're, if you're new to the game and you're still getting used to the driving, uh, maybe don't go this fast. But we are close to the garage, so if we do screw up, we can just recover. I feel like I'm playing like Need for Speed right now instead of SnowRunner. Not for long though. We're gonna we're gonna lose the road. We're gonna lose the paved road very very soon. We discovered a fuel station, but we're not gonna run out of fuel, so let's not do that. The task though. Um, this is really important guys if you guys drive across a, a Task on the map make sure that you drive on top of the task zone and hit accept This way you can you can hit start tracking uh, if you're gonna do it right away But you can also this also allows you to track it from your map anytime at the task tab So as you guys can see I have to bring this over here in order to get these rewards and clear the mission but uh, yeah, we're we're not gonna be on that right now. We're not. Our trucks aren't really powerful enough to do that yet, anyways. But yeah, make sure like you don't like just drive past these zones or even drive over these zones and then like look at the objectives but not hit the accept button. Um, because a lot of the time, um, if you try to do something without uh, accepting the mission first, sometimes um, there's usually gonna be a destination. That you have to get to and then a lot of the time the task uh, zone isn't always at the destination so you don't want to like pick up cargo or a trailer get to the destination and notice that you can't turn it in because you didn't accept a task um, from the p place where you initially found it so yeah definitely accept and use the map to track it don't just try to remember it and pick up stuff because you're not going to actually be able to uh, turn in a lot of the objectives If you do that Hoping that made sense, so we're just gonna we're gonna keep going forward, and I should have put down waypoints again uh, Yeah, and the upgrade should be somewhere down here, so All right, this is gonna be a bumpy ride as you guys can see so we are going to go be very careful with the throttle. Okay. Let's be real careful here. If we do roll over, it should be okay because there's so many trees nearby. We can just use one of the trees to get back up. I ninja winched there, just uh... <laughs> as an extra safety measure. 
And I know that with these tires, my brakes aren't going to work uh, in an area like this. Let's not hit those rocks. Okay, so there it is, guys. So there's a couple different ways that we can drop down this hill. We could have gone down from between one of those trees. But what I'm going to do is try to rotate our truck with the winch attached as a safety measure. And then just slowly let it slide down. And there it is. Engageable differential lock for our truck. So let's hit recover. It's going to take us back to, back to this garage. So let's just do that. And let's put that on. Sell the unlocked one. And now we're gonna do, we're gonna be able to do way better by shifting into low gear and then turning the diff lock on when we get into deep mud. What is that waypoint? All right, let's clear that. And now we are going to go back to Black River. Again, I'm going fast because it's cool, and also uh, since we're so close to the garage, we're not risking much. <laughs> All right, maybe not again. So, once is enough. Yeah, we got the big engine right. I wanted to. I wanted to go big or go home. I guess I went home. I feel like I'm not going to learn. As you guys can hear uh, hear it with the engine. Yeah, I'm not I'm not letting it <laughs> I'm not flooring the gas anymore. I'm sort of pressing the W key in bursts or the R key with my keybind. I have a weird keybind. And yes, I do play on keyboard and mouse. It seems like a lot of people play on controller or a steering wheel even if they are on PC and not console which is cool I just I just like my keyboard and mouse all right we're gonna skip that because it is beautiful but it's nighttime or it's the sun setting so we can't really see uh, again we are not putting down waypoints I am not putting down waypoints so we are not going to take this main route because even though it is going to be faster thanks to paved roads this is blocked and we have to do this mission in order to get that cleared so let's go here and we're trying to get to this wash tower to complete the the tutorial but if we're going to cross this area let's also cut through these trees accept that and then turn this way turn this way uh, turn this way, accept that, and then come back down and accept that, and then uh, accept that, and we're not going to go through here, you're going to see why. We're going to cut through here, accept that, and turn here, accept that, and then uh, the wash tower is somewhere down here, so we'll add more waypoints later. No shame in opening up the map uh, more times than you think you need to. It's almost always better than not doing it and getting lost. 
especially later on if you're driving a bigger truck and you have cargo and trailers. Jeez, man, it's, it's going to be annoying to drive past an intersection and have to go backwards. Alright, so we're going to use our diff lock. Apparently it's not enough. Yes, yes, use the winch, we already know. So we're going to use low gear, diff lock, and the winch. And easy. Do not have a problem there. Okay, we're not going to do that yet. We haven't even found our first cargo truck yet, so we're not actually able to. Let's just keep going. That was cool. At least I think so. Let's not splash the water unnecessarily. already opened that watchtower. By the way, if you think stuff is getting a little unnecessarily dark um, and it's affecting your driving and you would rather drive under the sun, you can, if you're in solos and not co-op, you can hit skip time and it'll change the time. So now we're at midnight. Skip, skip again, we're at 6 o'clock morning, and as you guys can see, it makes a huge difference. We don't even need the lights on anymore. I just like them on because they're, they're kind of fun. Down the road we go. Uh, I don't even know like why I'm reading the tasks. I, I know that we're not going to do any of them. Yeah, I'm just going to hit accept and not like stare at the screen like an idiot. Okay, so yeah, as I said, we can't cross this area right now because this is sealed off. And the reason why it's sealed off is because the tutorial wants us to come through here, get here to pick up some cargo, and then go back. It's trying to like prevent us from going off course. Uh, obviously, we took this like left lane the whole time, so that didn't stop us. And yeah, it, when I recap all of this at the end, you guys are going to see that it's well worth it. <laughs> so yeah, we are doing... We're totally just completely cheesing the game and breaking way outside the boundaries now. Uh, be, be a little careful with this um, this turn because you might tip to the left. If you are, if you, as a safety measure, you can attach this winch point to that tree and it'll like hold you from, keep you from tipping to the right. That's a good way to turn a lot of tight corners where you are slanted towards the outside of the corner. New trailer just covered. Um, that's cool. It's giving us some XP, but we're not going to use what's on that trailer yet. So yeah, as you guys can see, we're on the other side of the barrier. No problem whatsoever. If you guys discover a trailer though, um, even if you're not going to use it, uh, in the early game it helps to drive close to it so it says trailer discovered and it gives you a bit of XP.
That was a, just another task I accepted. Uh, let's not drift too much with this raised, raised suspension so we don't have to tip to the side. Um, hang on. This is our last waypoint, right? Yep. Okay, so we got this right here. Let's go up here, and that's the wash tower, right? Shouldn't even need that last one. We're going to be able to see it when we're that close. You have discovered your first watchtower. Hell no. Yeah, it opens this area, so now we can see this truck, and that's what it wants us to do. So uh, we're gonna have to go between these rocks, and then straight to the truck. We don't have to. We don't have to take the road because there's this, these bushes, this bushy area that has no trees, right here. Uh, be careful. Go like when, when you're going down an incline like this, and you don't really have your control over your vehicle. Go straight and try like point the your your vehicle directly towards the bottom of the hill. Don't turn your wheel, otherwise you are gonna flip and probably do 15 barrel rolls down the hill and bust every component on your vehicle. So yeah, we can drive straight through these, but not that. There's our truck. So we can switch to that. It's telling us to accept our first contracts. And the contract will be to repair the bridge. Find materials, okay. That's about it, right? Yep. Just making sure that the way I put down my waypoints is reasonable so that I don't I don't get myself lost. So metal beams, we need one metal beams, there it is, and let's figure out how to go back. We're not going to need fuel for now, yeah we have more than enough fuel to get everything done and get to our next garage.
I'm doing that just for fun. There's no cars on the road. There's no people for me to annoy either. This town is just dead. <laughs> dead silence everywhere. Doesn't matter. We're gonna. Yep. We're gonna get to the garage and have everything repaired automatically way before we take enough damage to actually hinder our progress. So, yeah, I'm just gonna floor the gas and. Drive. It's not like this truck can go that fast, anyways. Um, it's it's really bad, actually. So we're we're gonna sell this as soon as we get to the garage and move on to a better one, which the game is also gonna give us for free. That's stage one. We need wooden planks now. This is stage two. By the way, you have to do this in order, so make sure yeah, you're not going to know how to get wooden planks first, but any other missions in the future that's like this, uh, that's multi-stage, um, you have to do it in order. I just wanted to get to drive near that trailer and get the XP, but apparently I had to run into it. Let's also just pull this out a little bit in case we're going to use it in the future so that we don't have to go through that mud. Why not, right, if we can? And we'll deal with that later when we actually have to use that trailer. And... The game just told us we've been promoted, so that's nice. Although I don't think we unlocked anything too significant. Alright, let's go back.
you guys are wondering what the hell I'm doing with my head or neck, uh, it's just Tourette Syndrome, guys. I'm not trying to say or do anything, so don't mind me. unload the wooden planks cutscene and bridge is done we just did our first contract find the garage uh, let's go this way and just accept that and then we'll come back and so yeah this is another obstacle mission so we got to deliver uh, fallen power line so we got to deliver these items over here in order to clear that obstacle and just open up this route which to be honest isn't even that useful but uh, at least it is just another mission you'll eventually want to do and uh, just a heads up, you cannot go through there. In fact, I'm going to show you guys if you try to go through here. Um, as you guys can see, I'm flooring the gas, but it's an invisible wall. So, yeah, sorry to burst your bubble. Would have been nice, though. If you could just sit through. But no worries, we got another arguably better route anyways. Walking me, okay. Yeah, this truck absolutely sucks. I can't wait to get this thing off my hands and turn it into money. wheel drive, no diff lock, small engine for its size. Yeah, we can just cover that trailer and get a little bit of XP, but we're not going to. We can go ahead and accept this task, though. We're not going to... As you guys can see, I'm deliberately avoiding this mud. Yeah, we can just cover that trailer just by driving a bit closer, but we're going to come back to these areas later anyway. So I get the task because it allows us to get our hands on it earlier. But we're going to come back to this bit and also the, that, that trailer back there pretty soon. Because we want to use the stuff on it. So yeah, no, no hurry with that. just gonna keep driving down this straight. I know we have no waypoints right now, but even if it's the first time you're playing the game, you shouldn't need one for, for this bit. We're just gonna keep driving until we get to the garage, which is that icon right there. 
the current objective that you're doing or the one that you're tracking on the map uh, is going to be up here in the top right corner. Here's the garage. You can't see it right now because my, my face cam is, I think, blocking it. So, yeah, there's that. You have discovered your first garage. No, this is actually our second garage. So yeah, we discovered this truck. Um, as you guys can see, we can we can switch to it right away, and we're also gonna get this upgrade, which happens to this basically free, like the truck. Let's get into the garage. Contract completed, and we are going to sell this piece of garbage. Let's switch to, this is the truck that we're actually going to use because it has all wheel drive and uh, we just got all wheel drive because it's basically free and it comes with diff lock. We're going to put those on because um, they're really good. They're like basically required. Later on in the game when you have options, you're pretty much never going to deploy anything out of the garage that has uh, doesn't have both all wheel drive and diff lock. Exceptions apply but only in select situations. So yeah, we definitely, it's a great step forward to get that truck off our hands. Um, this truck is completely busted, no fuel, every component is busted, it's sitting on the ground, engine's broken. It's just teaching you to use the recover function so we can get it back to the garage and that's it. Um, so yeah, this is the one we wanna use. Uh, we don't have any options here. We actually, we can get the race suspension. So the race suspension is right around here. So let's jump right back into our Chevy. And let's put down some waypoints. We should be able, we should see it once we get to that last waypoint. Yeah, I, I know where this stuff is, but trust me, it doesn't, it doesn't spoil the game. In fact, it'll actually improve the game by making the, the start a lot less like boring and stale because without these upgrades, Everything is just super slow. It's not necessarily challenging. And you you like you backtrack a lot. You recover a lot more than you really really need to. There it is, guys. So let's get it. Raise suspension for the Fleet Star, which is the truck we just had. Uh, we're not going to recover this just because we don't need this right now. And like, if we drive a truck back around here, and w let's say we get it stuck or tipped over, you can use um, you can use any nearby trucks to actually help it out before you re recovering should be your last resort because uh, once you recover, you have to drive all the way across the map to continue whatever you're doing. So yeah, like don't recover trucks for no reason just to keep it in your garage. Like just leave trucks out on the map. This game is designed to be played with you having a whole fleet like spread out on the map and jumping between them to basically chain missions and get objectives quickly. So yeah, don't recover for no reason. We're going to go back and as you guys can see, we have that. And once again, uh, these tires, the 45 inch is locked behind the race suspension, which we now have. So we can go and put on UHD one. Uh, do we? No, we don't have anything better. Most things are level gated right now, but that's okay. We're going to do well enough uh, with this truck, uh, with what we already have on this truck for the early game. So we can put on a sideboard bed or a flat bed, which is the same, that doesn't have the wall. Um, I usually preferred the sideboard, but for a variety's sake, we just drove something with the, with the flat bed. Basically, the only difference is that 
the flatbed is a little lighter and uh, the sideboard bed is a little heavier very slightly heavier but it has these side walls that makes it less likely for stuff to fall out if um, you're like you're in a position where you almost tip over and then the cargo on your on your back unpacks so yeah that's we can also put on the loading crane and yeah so this is the this is the truck we have we, as you guys can see, we have a trailer store next to our garage, and we got... These two are free trailers. As you guys can see, we just covered them and got the XP. Um, that is a mission trailer, which we're going to use later. I believe it's... Farming tool. So yeah, deliver to the farm that. So that's that's this. Um, so yeah, these two, if we find, if you find them, you own them. So we're not going to mess with this because this has cargo on it, which can become handy in the future. This trailer is, it's just a basically free money. Um, there's no point in keeping this out here because the trailer store is right next to it and we can buy, we can buy an identical one anytime. This is a repair trailer, so it contains repair parts. So like if I, if I damage my engine... Um, as long as I have it attached, I can just repair and it's, the engine's repaired. So yeah, that's what this does, but we can buy it from the trailer to the store anytime. So right now, let's turn it into money by selling it because we can buy it back for the same price at any time. So yeah, that, that thing's basically there just to teach you how to sell trailers. And a word on trailer stores. Um, there's one next to almost every garage, and there's also plenty of trailer stores that are sort of... For example, this one's next to the garage, but some of them are also outstanding, like this one uh, that's not next to a garage. If you can find them, you can use them. And something you can do is that because you can buy and sell trailers at the same price, regardless of their contents, you can uh, buy a maintenance trailer with a com with any truck that has a, a trailer hatch um, that's available and you can use it to refuel and repair so this trailer has fuel but also repair points and spare tires and then just sell it right away and that's that's a resupply point for you it's actually better than just a fuel station because you can only get fuel uh, from the fuel station but you can get repairs to from these so yeah um that just about wraps it up for this episode um oh, one last word as you guys can see i have uh three dlc trucks in my inventory these two come with the season pass and this one i bought um on the epic game store i am not going to touch these i'm not going to turn them into money either just going to leave them hanging here because um, I want to do this, uh, I want to make this, like, series non-DLC friendly so that, you know, if I sell, if I use these, or even if I sell them and get the money, there, two of them are worth a lot, so it's going to make the early game way easier. Uh, I don't have to do that, and I know not everybody is going to have that, so we're just going to leave that hanging. Um, I will, I do want to make videos about them, but they're probably going to be standalone videos. They're not bad, I just don't want to include them in this series. So, um, just to recap what we did in this episode. Uh, we started the tutorial, we spawn right here. And instead of, the tutorial wants us to go through this area and then get straight to this watchtower by driving down this straight road. And then going here to here and get the GMC and then pick up cargo back and forth, build the bridge, and then just discover this garage. Instead, uh, we went off to the side, took the this entire left, like, uh, dirt road, this entire, cleared this entire left lane to the left of this main road. We got an upgrade here, an upgrade here, uh, a new truck here, um, also two watchtowers, this one, and, uh, not that one, this one, and then we went to Smithville Dam, uh, went up, discovered another garage, went back down, accept, accepted a task, uh, which we're not going to do that anytime soon. We're probably going to do Black River first. 
But we did accept it, which is nice because now we can track it. And we went down here, got the differential lock uh, for our Chevy because I deliberately wanted... Uh, I, want, I wanted to have it myself, but I also wanted anyone who watches this episode and is just getting into the game to have it because it just saves. Um, it just, like, you, you, you start to sort of, it, like, your driving will start to feel a lot more in line with how things are um, later in the game. Because when you don't have differential lock, your struggle is kind of unique. I'll, more on that later. We came back, and then we took this route, accepted that, came across, accepted that, 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 and then we continued on with the tutorial, and when we came here, we even accepted two more tasks, and then we completed the tutorial by finding what was meant to be the first garage for us to find. So yeah, we collected we collected a bunch of stuff. On the way, we accepted all of these tasks, which we will now be able to track. And we can just go down... The, we're not going to do that, but we can just go down this list and be like... Uh, okay, these t this task and... Uh, I don't know, this part of this task is like pretty close together, so... We can take this trip and then do both of them on the same trip really quickly without going back and forth a lot. This is why you should really accept tasks, guys. Um, because it allows you to... Um, you're not necessarily speed running, you're just being really, really efficient. And it feels like... Uh, it sounds a little try-hard, but... You're eventually going to want to do it, because... <laughs> uh, the early game is kind of slow um, in this game, so this definitely helps. Um, it, it's not just because it's slow, it's actually not that slow, um, even if you are like doing whatever you see. But you want to level up fast in the early game because, for example, uh, this truck, like you're nowhere even near its full performance if you don't unlock... Um, the better tires on this truck it would be the off-road ones and things like uh, higher snorkels mostly tires which are you're gonna want to unlock the better ones as soon as possible and the best way to do that is to speed run missions um, which also helps you clear up your map you can do like time trials which I don't I don't think we've actually discovered our first time trial yet it's gonna be at the farm but you can do time trails which are these like missions that are timed and you can do them repeatedly over and over but that's really boring uh, chaining um, tasks and contracts is definitely much more fun and at the same time you're exploring something new all the time and it's gonna let you level up much faster um, and as with the upgrades and the the Scout 800 truck that we just covered, and also the Smithville Dam Garage, um, this like this series is meant to be a walkthrough, so it is meant to help relative new and or struggling players. Uh, however, I wonder. Um, I, I kind of expect that some of you might think doing this is too cheesy. Because, like, I'm able to find these only because uh, I know where they are. However, the reason why I wanted to do this is because, like, I feel like if you don't do this, uh, if, like, if you go in without n knowing this, it's pretty much, it's pretty much all bad. Like, for example, if you have this entire lane blacked out because you went uh, with the tutorial, like, You'll just have to come back later just for the upgrades. It's not like we don't have any reason to even like go past this side, this lane, like go past this road to the left side of the map now because there's just nothing here. You don't have to deliver cargo here or pick up cargo here or do a task here. It's just those upgrades. So like if you don't do it, it's just kind of backtracking. And also the upgrades themselves are really important. Uh... For example, this Scout 800, um, like when you're still on this map, so like in the extreme early game, that's like the only time where you'll actually struggle a little bit with cash. And having that Scout 800 discovered and ha having it recovered and sold, 
Um, or if you are going to drive it, which I don't recommend, but if you like it and you want to drive it, you can sell the Chevy instead, because you really, like, there isn't really much of a point to have two scouts uh, at this stage. It'll help with um, your cash flow a lot, because this stage is the only stage where you're not going to have a whole lot of cash, and you don't want to be like, because, like, uh, one of the streamers that I, that, that I, uh, that I used to watch, he was like, when he started the game, he was like, um, I want to like put on this uh, nice beacon or like some some fog lights or something like that to just make my tr truck look cooler or like a bumper and if I have like 3,000 you know cashier should I really do that and that's just kind of sucks right like you want you want stuff to look kind of uh, like not being able to <laughs> to purchase aesthetic upgrades is just it's kind of it kind of sucks um yeah and plus it's just it's also something that um like it gives you a bit more variety in the early game too which is something that it also lacks the upgrades uh we found race suspension and differential lock for the chevy and that's absolutely huge um and you also like kind of there isn't you don't really like give yourself much more of a of a meaningful challenge by like leaving them to be found on your own because like I said later on in the game um, er earlier in the like in my intro I said that uh, I think it was kind of a bad um, I said there was a couple bad decisions that I think the devs made one of them is like making uh, upgrades like diff lock or all-wheel drive um, unlockable instead of stock uh, features on a lot of the early game trucks like that Chevy we were driving um, or the GMC um, which I sold right right away for that reason and then later on the white Western star which we will find in Smithville dam that's actually a pretty good like it's actually this truck but we haven't found it yet it's somewhere down here um, it's actually pretty good when you have it fully upgraded the problem with it is that um, when when you have uh, when you have all-wheel drive and diff lock gated behind exploration, that's basically training the player to like the player is having to spend time um, learning how to drive without diff lock or all-wheel drive. So like you're basically uh, like fighting the lack of all-wheel drive and diff lock which is a skill even if you get really good at it that's a skill you're gonna throw away immediately once you start having options because you're never again going to de like after a while you're never gonna deploy trucks from your garage that don't have those because it, you're just not gonna get far even trucks that have huge advantages um, in other places but lack those as one of their only drawbacks um, they become sort of underperformers compared to the rest of rest of your options uh, even in like later on in the game when you learn how to drive because it just closes not having all-wheel drive or diff lock closes so many doors as a matter of fact uh, it seems like the devs even realize this themselves because for all of the post launch content um, after I believe Alaska uh, later on, we're, we're going to talk about some of the, let me try to find them, the Russian trucks that you can buy. For example, this one, and this one, and this one. All three of them are actually available right now at level 1. We have to change regions to buy them. I'm going to talk about them in a separate video. Uh, it's actually kind of, a, kind of a controversial topic for old players uh, about like whether or not they want to recommend these to new players because some people think it spoils the game since they're too easy but yeah if you look at these all of them come stock with well, it doesn't say it here but yeah like all wheel drive diff lock always on and then yeah all three of these have always always on diff lock and all wheel drive and even like for the ones that don't they have switchable uh, all wheel drive and or diff lock come stock and I think the reason for that is because, like, the game it just becomes really inconsistent and annoying to play when you don't have these things. 
So yeah, I think it, it's definitely worth it to like cheese the game a little bit and like do do a, a like look up stuff on Google and just be able to find this. Well, I already told you guys where these are, um, so that you don't like you can you can skip over that stage stage of the game and get to the fun stuff, which is uh, having capable trucks, but actually like knowing, um, learning how to drive them, learning the strength of strengths and weaknesses of different trucks so yeah that's that's really cool and um, so yeah like um, if you're if you're thinking about like not doing this or if you think that I just ruled the game for you maybe that changes your mind a little bit yeah just I wanted to address that cuz uh, it comes up it just it, it comes up when I when I was thinking about doing this walkthrough and also this garage is absolutely huge after I completed my first solo playthrough, um, I jumped into a lot of random co-op lobbies and I noticed that a lot of new players who are working on this map, they have almost everything opened up and almost all the missions done, um, but they've, they don't actually have this garage because they they decided not to leave um, Black River like they didn't want to open the gateway until they finish everything it's like they wanted to, to play the game in segments or something but if you look at this map this is like right outside the the Black River gateway so if you wanted to deploy a truck onto this side of Black River it's actually faster to come to like send them out of that garage than to drive it from here because you can move any truck between garages once they're in one of them. For example, if I press retain here and then I go to global map, uh, go to Smithville Dam. Let's wait for it to load, load up. Uh, we can deploy the truck and now we're in Smithville Dam. That just about wraps it up for this episode, guys. I guess I rambled a bit at the end there. I wanted to include a lot more elaboration of the game, but I had to cut stuff out in order to keep this video short. And you might be thinking, what do you mean short? It's over an hour long. Well, it was actually two hours the first time I took it, and the audio was messed up, so I decided not to upload it, because obviously I just don't want to give people garbage. Um, second try, it's still over an hour long, and the reason for that is because I wanted to keep the entire tutorial in one piece, but I still wanted to take that full detour, because uh, one, it's just really cool that you can do it, and two, uh, the stuff you get from doing it is really going to smooth out the grind in the early game, so I thought it would be beneficial. Um, with When I took this path myself in preparation for this video, it still took me about 40 minutes or so, even with my full focus on the road when I don't have to do commentary. So if you want to do this yourself, that's what you can expect. Uh, if you've made it to this point in the video, thank you so very much. Um, if you are a new or struggling player, I hope you've learned something useful here. If you're someone who's already well past this stage of the game, I hope you found my approach with the beginning of the game refreshing or interesting. If you like today's content, please do me a small favor and hit the like button down below. It's only a button pressed to you, but will be very helpful to, uh, very helpful to me. If you have any questions, feedback, or comments, please do not hesitate to leave an actual comment under this video. In fact, just commenting that you made it to the end of the one hour would probably make my day. And last but not least, if you want to see more SnowRunner content, there's a lot more on the way, and not all of them are going to be an hour long, I swear. So uh, if you are interested, hit the big red subscribe button down below, and you will be notified when those videos arrive. And that's it, guys. Wish you a great day, and peace.